road she traveled. And our women who made a difference. A Kula Kids gift to our community. Every Child, a Wanted Child. Marion Ramlow, portrayed by Megan. It all started in that old building on 4th Street, the beginning of what would be the La Crosse Family Planning Center. The politicians back in Washington had decided that they wanted family planning to be available here in La Crosse. I thought this would be a wonderful idea because I knew how much overpopulation there is in some countries. This could be a beneficial way to help control the amount of babies being born in La Crosse since our population is almost never talked about throughout the whole United States. Everything had started out fine and we were being helped by our professional nurse practitioner that was working for the Community Action Program. She was the only one being paid. Everyone else, including myself, was a volunteer, helping out the women and talking to them. It felt so gratifying to me to know that I was helping and making a difference to these women. After about a year, I became director of the clinic, and while I was director, I was asked to expand the center into five Wisconsin counties instead of just La Crosse. I thought this would be better for everyone because now women don't have to travel as far. So therefore, it became the Cooley Region Family Planning Center. Now today, it's called Options Clinic, which is a well-known clinic around the Cooley Region area. In the past, we mainly helped low-income women, but not below a certain level for medication. Most of them are married and wanted to control the amount of kids they had. Not all of the doctors would agree to family planning, and when the ladies came to us, we called their doctors to see if everything was alright. Nowadays, we help all different types of women. Not as many are married, but generally women between the ages of 19 through 25. We usually talk more to the ones that are a little bit younger because most of the time they haven't even talked to their parents yet and the last thing we want them to do is have a baby at such a young age. We help them the best we can and get them to look at their situation and ask themselves, is this the right choice for me to be making? We never give away anyone's names, it's completely confidential, which helps the woman to be a little more open to telling us about themselves. Our main goal is just as our logo says, every child a wanted child. Still, there were people that did object to the whole family planning center. We received a certain amount of hate mail and still do even today. There are even some people that protest in front of the options building. Sometimes I would just get so angry and fed up. I'd want to scream at them and tell them that what we're doing is right, not wrong. For a while, I was also worried about an organization that was set up by the state. They were trying to avoid the expense of duplication in health care. They just didn't understand what we were trying to do or what we had to do. I wish those people could just realize all of the positive things that are a result of family planning. Among these people were some disbelievers in family planning, and even though there were only a few of them, they kept harassing Options Clinic. I had no other choice but to defend us, which I really didn't want to do. It produced yet more hate mail. I wasn't surprised. They also just couldn't accept the fact that people's views had changed and that women wanted the rights to control their bodies and the amount of children they had. <laughs> At the time, I was also involved with a lot of the education in La Crosse. I went to a great deal of meetings trying to gather money for the schools. Our mayor back then was Mal Knudsen. I never liked him too much. He wouldn't support the things that I believed mattered most and what we needed for La Crosse. He rarely gave a lot of money to the schools. In fact, he almost brought classes down to rock bottom. We couldn't find any quality teachers to hire because we didn't have any money. I would get so annoyed sometimes because it made me feel that they didn't understand that we needed money for the school district. Now, even at the age of 86, I still try to get involved with organizations. I'm in study groups with the American Association, University of Women, and I also try to be active with the League of Women Voters. Looking back, I realize that I've reached many goals in life, but there's still much left to do. This podcast brought to you from across Wisconsin by the Cooley Kids at Longfellow Middle School in conjunction with the League of Women Voters.